Chapter Lamont. I raced the number seven knockout quantity go car at o Airborne Park Speedway in Plattsburgh, New York. I started racing in 2014 when I was nine years old. I worked hard my first season to learn and improve. I finished the season in second place overall. As great as that first season was, I was having a lot of stomach aches and felt awful. By November 2014, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I was overwhelmed with sadness and a little angry too. At first, I didn't want to talk about it. Then, I started having medication and feeling better. I realized as time went by that I was not the only kid with Crohn's disease, and I wanted to do something to raise awareness. That is when I decided I would dedicate this season to race for Crohn's disease awareness. I picked the Knockout Crohn's disease logo on the front of my cart, as every day I am fighting to feel well. At the track, I have a pit crew that helps me maintain my cart and continue to improve. I also have resources through my sponsors, Lowry Dahl Sales and Sign Here, who helped me make my vision for my cart come true. And your champion, number seven, Ryan Bevins. At the University of Vermont Children's Hospital, I have a pit crew led by Dr. D'Amico that helped me feel better. Between them and resources such as CCFA, Improve Care Now, and SmartPatients.com, we are working hard to learn more and find a cure. Why don't you consider joining me as I race to the fish line and raise Crohn's disease awareness? President John Q. Adams once said, patience and perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. If you need an example of patience and perseverance, you've got one in this guy right here, this year's Mini Mod Championship. He wrecked a lot of race cars. I know, I was part of it. And he blew a lot of motors back in the day. He finally started learning, he finally started winning races, but he was never a championship contender until this season. Six victories, 12 top threes. That's bona fide right there and perseverance just days after he won his airborne championship the family garage burned to the ground damaging his car and all of his tools but he never wavered and just a couple of days after that he went out and won the devil's bowl championship too 15 starts six wins 14 top fives an average finish of 2.467 six victories two second place finishes three third place finishes one fifth and one eighth. That's a pretty good season. He won five consecutive races from People's United Bank Night in June through the Rutland Herald Midseason Championships in July, and he swept the championships at Airborne and Devil's Bowl for his first championships of his career. He also was very high up in the NASCAR Wheel and All American Series standings, ranking 17th in the country in the Dambrisi painting. Collins Auto, Meatball Company number four from Gabriel's, New York, your champion, Chris LeBear. Uh, not too good at giving speeches, but uh, racing is my life, and I, I've been doing it a long time, and I, I'm actually uh, proud to be up here today and uh, be a champion, and it, I got two in one year, and it's unbelievable for me, and uh, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's just been a great year. Um, 
a remarkable year that anybody can ever ask for, winning as many races and, and doing as good as we did this year. And I have to thank my family. Um, uh, without all my family, I wouldn't have been able to do it today, <clears throat> this year. Um, pretty nervous being up here right now, actually. <laughs> I have to start by thanking everybody in this room, you know, the whole racing family, it, it wouldn't be possible for me to be a champion today. Without everybody in this room supporting Devil's Bowl Speedway, I wouldn't be here. So I have to thank all of you for supporting the racetrack. Um, I have to thank uh, all the Devil's Bowl staff and uh, Mike and Elaine Bruno and their family. Um, I have to thank all my sponsors, Coral Contracting, Dan Breezy's Painting. I have to thank Collins Auto. Two years ago, I wrecked my car, and uh, he gave me this car, told me to run it, and uh, we picked up two track championships for it. And I have to thank Dan Collins. Without him, I wouldn't be here today. I have to thank my father. Uh, as all of you probably know in this room, we lost our garage. We lost my father's car. My car was on fire, and... Uh, he jumped in it and drove it out of the garage and put it out and without that I, I wouldn't be here. Um, he was pretty crazy, could have lost his life, but he saved my race car. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. I'm <laughs> pretty nervous to be up here today. Thank everybody. Pretty nervous. I don't. I don't talk in front of a lot of people. I'm kind of a quiet guy. Uh, this year was one of my best years in in racing in my life. Uh, as Justin said, he he hit it. Uh, I've had a lot of hard luck and a lot of bad luck, but this year was it was our year. You know, all my hard work and dedication finally paid off, and I was able to win two track championships. Uh, it took a lot of a lot of luck and. A lot of hard work and a lot of experience, and you learn a lot um, throughout the years, and and a lot of good support, and it takes a lot. Uh, first off, I would like to thank everybody in this room tonight because without all of you, airborne and, and racing would not be able to be happening, and I wouldn't be standing here today without the support of the the family of racing. Um, I would also like to personally thank uh, my sponsors, Corals Contracting. Uh, Collins Auto, uh, the meatball company, all the way out of Puerto Rico, and uh, my silent sponsor out of North Carolina. And I would also like to thank Mike Bruno, um, Justin, Dick, Jamie, and Steve for all their hard work on, uh, on having Airborne Speedway. I'd like to thank Northeast Race Videos for the awesome race videos we get every year. Um, I love to be able to watch them, the, the memories that we are able to capture throughout the year, and Dave Brown for all the awesome pictures that we get every year. I got a photo album, thick of them, from all the way back in 1999 when I started racing. Um, I'd also like to thank my family, uh, my mom and my dad, with all the huge support. My dad for risking his life to save my race car to be able to keep racing every year. Week there, at the end, it was, uh, it was pretty terrible. We lost our garage, but my dad uh, risked his life and jumped in my car and pulled it away from the garage. Um, I'd also thank my, my, uh, my biggest supporter.
my biggest supporter and uh, she's always a huge help at the track and she's always got a big smile on her face. She does everything. She checks my car, does stuff that you wouldn't think a female would do and she's my best friend. She's my car owner, my crew chief and my fiance, Lindsay. Uh, she's always there. I just want to like to thank everybody all again for all their support on my successful season. I am very fortunate to be a wonderful support system and I could not be done it without all of you. Racing has given me the opportunity to meet many wonderful people throughout the years. Many of these people I am lucky enough to now call friends. Thank you everybody.